as I mentioned in the previous video, we're going to be uh, skinning a waterfowl today. We got a black duck, and as you can see, we're going to give it some exercise after thawing out, so it uh, basically softens up the muscles that have been sitting in the freezer for too long, so they got a little bit stiff. Anyway, this bird seems to be in uh, fairly good condition, however the skin on the body was a little bit twisted before it was frozen, so I'm going to have a hard time finding that center incision or center spot on the keel bone to be able to make the breast incision right in the center. It's not a big deal, uh, I usually like to make it right in the center, but um, quite often actually I go sideways or a little bit crooked. So we're going to start with um, injecting around the beak so giving it a little bit more moisture for skinning out it's pretty self-explanatory I'll chime in whenever I think I need to I'll let you watch the rest of the video for now Keep in mind, make your incision around the beak right at the edge that you see the feather pattern or feather growth is starting. Go right around the beak, make the incision first and then start peeling backward. As you can see this little spatula is going to help me peel the skin on the forehead backward.
in general when when you're skinning the face off of any kind of bird you'd better make sure that you gently remove the skin only because there is a another fine layer kind of like a membrane type of layer that is between the skin and the skull especially around um, in front of the eyes um, covering that whole cavity if you leave that area intact it will create uh, the proper shape for molding your skull if you need to yeah as I mentioned before you 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 keep skinning the skin toward the toward the eyes and toward the back of the head just at the same pace or all around the head you don't keep going in one direction and then go to the other direction you just keep turning the head move backward at the same pace so that creates to remove any kind of tensions that you might want to put on there on the skin just because you're trying to pull the big big skull out of a smaller hole when you when you're skinning it so when you when you go all around it at the same time the um, the excel hole that you're creating is going to grow with the size of the of the skull again be careful when you're getting close to the eyes So the first part of this uh, segment or this uh, series of duck skinning videos is going to be only for removing the head or skinning the head only and the um, second part we will skin the body and show you some tips over there and the third part we will go on with flashing and wire wheeling which uh, is the interesting part. So you can see we passed one eye on one side and we turn around and continue for the other eye. Okay, thanks for watching. We're getting close to the end of the first video. We'll continue in the second video about skinning the whole body.